what is going on everybody thank you for clicking the link this is your boy crisis 20 where real tutorials will take you to the next level guys i already know why you're here i'ma just keep it real with you you're looking at the past turret build videos they either don't have a mod you got are simply just not producing the grenades fast enough for you well today i probably got the fastest way you can get your turrets up and running so that way you can be the best you can be with your stasis build today you guys will be learning different ways to greatly reduce your grenade cooldown which in turn will create more turrets also will you actually need the firepower mod for this build stay tuned for that i will also be teaching you guys the workflow of this build meaning when to switch weapons how to produce the three turrets that you saw earlier in this video and so much more this is what you guys will be learning today now guys this is not the end all be all you can switch and move mods where you like i'll let you know what's important in this build so this way you know what to keep and what not to we're going to start off with the shade binder warlock subclass we're going to go through the aspects the abilities and the fragments all right so i'm not going to read thoroughly into every description of these abilities aspects and fragments i'm just going to go over quickly what they do for aspects i got here glacial harvest this creates my shards when i freeze enemies the higher tier the combatant the more shards then i have here the bleak watcher which is the turret hold down the grenade button and convert my grenade into a stasis turret that fires projectiles that slows enemies all right uh next important thing for the abilities i have the dust fill grenade to me dust fill grenade is better than the cold snap and the glacier grenade all right it covers a greater area freezes more enemies at one time i just love the dust field grenade in regards to fragments i have the whisper of torment every time i take damage i gain grenade energy i have the whisper of shards so anytime i shatter a crystal i temporarily get a grenade recharge rate boost all right i get a plus five second recharge rate for my grenade and then if i break two crystals i get 10 seconds to boost my grenade recharge rate and that is called improved ability regeneration next up i have whisper of conduction it just brings the station shards to my position then lastly i have whisper of fissures increases the damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target all right so all in all out of the shade binder subclass for the warlock the most important things to remember here is the whisper of shards and whisper of torment that will wrap it up for the fragments part and for the aspects it is important to have glacial harvest and bleak watcher so that about wraps it up for the warlock subclass all right so i want to talk about the gear the mods and then the weapons last okay so with the gear there's a couple of things i need you to understand first with the gear or armor there's a couple of caveats two pieces of your armor has to have a certain energy type let me explain one energy type or affinity that has to be mandatory for this build is your warlock bond your warlock bond has to be solar also your gauntlets has to be stasis other than that you can make your other armor pieces solar or stasis so it really doesn't matter what order you put them in just as long as my recommendations that i previously said are met overall you're going to have two solar armor pieces and three stasis pieces all together. So let's get a little bit more in depth with the gear that I have and how it's going to affect this build. So as you can plainly see, I have the Varity's Brow. As you can see here, energy weapon kills boost grenade damage. And then when I go into it, weapon final blows with the same damage type as my subclass, it grants me death throws. So since I'm using a stasis weapon and my subclass is stasis, this then procs death throws. So any and every enemy that you come across, you want to make sure that you're doing headshots, precision shots, you know, getting those final blows with your stasis weapon. All right. Once you get that final blow, you're then going to proc death throws. Once death throws is proc, you automatically get a grenade damage bonus and you also get grenade energy. All right. 
Also, while it's proc, when you throw a grenade, any nearby allies gain greatly increased grenade regeneration for a short time. I believe the farthest it goes out is 18 meters from my body. So anybody that has this Varity's Brow, make sure you stay by them because you will definitely get a grenade boost. All right. Oh, I forgot to mention the name of the ability is called Feed the Flames. So that being said, because I'm using a stasis weapon, I have a crafted Syncopation 53. All I need to do is just get precision shots and pretty much I'll get my grenade energy coming back to me, AKA getting my turrets. Also, another thing that's gonna help you get your turrets back fast is make sure you max out the discipline stat, all right? Max it out, get it to 100, so this way you can also get your grenades back fast as well. Other than that, that pretty much wraps up the armor part of this build. So now let's move on to the mods. Let's first start off with my helmet, which is the Varity's Brow. And there I am using the Explosive Wellmaker mod. So it reads here, rapidly defeating combatants with explosive damage spawns a solar elemental well. Guys, this is key here. In this build, I'm gonna have you always, always, always popping this mod, all right? This mod is always going to be active and it comes out very frequently. But this piece right here is very crucial to this build. So there's a couple of ways where we're going to activate this mod. So one of the ways is via crystals and the other one is via explosive damage damage, meaning grenade launchers, rocket launchers, anything that will cause explosive damage, that is what you want to have. I don't want to get too much into the weapons department because I'm just focusing on mods right now, but you want to make sure your stasis weapon has headstone. So that way, when you get final blows with your weapon, it will activate the crystal or it will at least have the chance to. When you explode the crystal, it will cause explosion damage, hence giving you your solar elemental well. Another way you want to activate this mod, well, the way I'm using it anyway, is by using a grenade launcher and I'm using explosive personality. So when I use this weapon, I'm also getting or activating the explosive wellmaker mod as well. So you can use Salvation's Grip, you can use rocket launchers, you can use whatever that will give you that explosion damage. So let's move on to the mods that I have in my gauntlets. In my gauntlets, I have two grenade kickstarts and an elemental shard. The grenade kickstart reads, when your grenade energy is fully expended, you gain grenade energy. I have two of them because I'm not doing any legend or master content right now so i would use two grenade kickstarts but if i was doing hard content i would replace one of the grenade kickstarts with a champion mod then you have here elemental shards so stasis shards count as stasis elemental wells for you so every time i freeze a combatant or an enemy a shard will show up beside his body the more difficult the enemy the more shards are going to appear around his body as long as i'm close enough the shards will come to my location then those will count as stasis elemental wells so next up we have the chest armor and my chest mod is the well of restoration it reads here picking up a stasis elemental well grants you additional energy for your ability that has the lowest energy all right so i'm using this because i'm always using my grenade right i'm always using my turret so anytime i'm picking up a stasis well or any type of well for that matter, or a shard, it's gonna go right to my turret or grenade because that's the only ability that I'm primarily using all the time. So it's most likely gonna go back to my turret every single time. Of course, it'll depend on the situation. Of course, if I need to heal or anything like that, or I need to put my rift down, then yeah, it might go back to the rift or the grenade. But most of the times, I'm always using my grenade. So next up we have our leg armor and the mod that I have here is elemental armaments. It reads here, combatant weapon final blows with a damage type that matches your subclass element have an escalated chance to spawn an elemental well. So basically in this build, I have a stasis weapon and my subclass is stasis. So it's gonna spawn a stasis elemental well. So make sure when you have a stasis weapon, as I said before, you maintain your precision kills or final blows, however you want to call it. 
and it will spawn an elemental well. So that being said, I want to tell you guys something. If your stasis weapon has headstone, there is a high possibility that the elemental well is hidden inside of the crystal. So basically every time you crystallize an enemy, you pop the crystal, there's a possible chance that the elemental well could be inside of the crystal. So just keep that in mind when playing with this build. Other than that, that's basically what I have this mod here for. It's going to produce stasis elemental wells and with the other previous mods, it's going to spawn solar elemental wells. All right, and last up we have here, as you've seen previously, I have here Bountiful Wells. It reads, elemental well mods that cause you to spawn elemental wells can now stack, spawning additional wells for each additional copy of the mod you have equipped. And the reason why you have this is simply because you want to multiply your wells. So anytime you pop a well with final blow or explosion damage, you will have two wells instead of one. So between all these mods, you have several opportunities to get your grenades back, guys. This is like the best of the best right here. Between solar wells, stasis wells, and also you can't forget to include glacial harvest. With all of this going on, this is turrets for life. And on top of that, I'm not even using the Osmio Mancy gloves. So guys, you're gonna have a crazy build with turrets for life. And as you can plainly see, this build does not require the firepower mod. I was specifically looking for a build without this mod because there are a lot of people that do not have this mod. A lot of the stasis turret warlock builds that you guys are searching for, most of them have this firepower mod. So I specifically made sure that I found a build that was efficient enough to greatly reduce my grenade recharge time so I can produce the most turrets possible. And I finally got it for you guys. So this build does not include the firepower mod as you probably already noticed let's move on to the weapons i have the crafted synco patient 53 i have the enhanced trait of outlaw and headstone i made sure that i had headstone on this crafted weapon so it can create more crystals for me so the more crystals i can produce the more explosive damage i can give off next i have here explosive personality this is strictly just to give me explosive damage. Every time I use it on enemies, I have a chance to produce a solar well by using explosive damage. Lastly, I have here the Salvation's Grip and its sole purpose is to freeze enemies and produce crystals. So this way I get shards and I also get the explosive damage when I explode the crystals. So that is pretty much why I have these weapons and the uses for them. So that's all the weapons. So let me show you how to use the build. So what I do to get the most potential out this build, I start with my primary. I keep shooting until I get stasis wells. Then when I get stasis wells, I automatically switch to my grenade launcher or you can use a rocket launcher. And when I switch, I'm looking to produce solar wells. So this way I can maximize my potential of getting a turret. And then I switch back to my primary and repeat the process over. So this way I can maximize the potential of me getting a solar well while I have my grenade launcher out. Also, I could try to freeze enemies as well with my salvations grip. So I have a little variety while I'm shooting. It just all depends on your style of play. Make sure you guys comment below. Let me know what mods, weapons, or aspects you guys are using for my build. Again, this is not the end all be all. This is just my way of getting the most grenade energy to create your turrets. If you enjoyed what you've seen here today, like, sub, and follow this playlist for more variations. Thank you for watching the video and I'll catch you guys at another Destiny 2 build video. Peace.